Rhombus, the game of 60 by turn to the wonderful. It's a strategy game for two to four players. Um, and it's based on the number 60 and all of the factors of it. The coins represent the factors of the number 60. These are different armies. In a uh, turn, um, you, you try to cap capture the, uh, the spaces by putting your plagues, pegs in it. In a turn, you can move your army, one coin, or you could divide it. Let's say that they divide it into 2 and 30. And then the silver one divides it into 10 and 6. Um, if they were to divide it during the next turn into 10 and 3, we have surrounded by the one spot surrounded by the same color. They put their plague peg in it. We call that settlement. When all of the pegs are placed, whoever puts them in wins. When a hole is surrounded, we call this settlement. However, when it's surrounded by different colors, it's called conquest. Um, these two against this one are in here. These two against this for this hole here. You multiply them together, 10 times 6 is 60. You add them together, 10 plus 6 is 16. And you take those two numbers, a total of 76, it easily overpowers the 3. Over here, it's not so obvious. 2 times 3 is uh, 6. 2 plus 3 is 5. 6 and 5 is 11. It overpowers the 10. The brown goes in that spot. It stays there even if it moves because it only changes when it's surrounded. However, if these were to combine and make 60, this one transfers back to the light. However, it opens up a path for gold to move this direction. Gold 3 is making a run for the home base. Um, it divides up the army, makes it a little bit weaker. If the silver were to move there, this would come out, and this would go in here. And it appears as though silver is winning, but watch what happens when, when gold moves over here. 60 can then divide up... Um, but let's say move over here. They move over here. These two come out because that's espionage. These two go in. They stay there permanently. The first person to place all of their pegs on the board wins. Rhombus, the game of 60. The game of Rhombus can be played with two, three, or four players. Here we have a four-player version set up. In it, the pegs are divided between the dark ones with red and the dark ones without, the blue ones, uh, the light ones with blue and the light ones without. Um, the, these two both operate the same coins, and so it's uh, kind of like Siamese twins who don't care for each other. So it's, they, they alternate turns, so it's red's turn. Let's say red divides this into six and ten like that. And now um, it is blue's turn. Let's say the blue divides it into five and twelve, like so. Blue gets the point. Now it is the plain colored's turn. Let's say that they go over here. They get the point, the darker color over here. It's now the plain colored here. They divide this into four and three, and the plain color gets this one. Um, you have many fewer to place. Once you